Hi everyone, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you an effect called Glimmer. I'm going to search for Glimmer in my effects here, and we'll pull this out of the Universe Glow section of my effects, and I'll drop this on a clip here in Adobe Premiere. Glimmer renders star filter-like highlights in the brightest areas of the image. The first thing you're probably going to want to reach for is this threshold control because every clip is different and you will want to adjust how much of the image is being processed by the Glimmer. As with many of our other plugins, threshold softness and threshold work together. So threshold is a tolerance above and below the threshold. And the main threshold control is how much of the image is being processed by the glow. Now, Glimmer has been a part of Universe for quite some time, but in Universe 3.3, we've added quite a bit. The old version of Glimmer was limited to three separate streaks, and now we've got six of them. Each of these can be enabled or disabled, and by default, there are three of them turned on. I'm going to isolate this to just one streak, just for now. The old version of Glimmer had what we call a bi-directional glow, so that it blurred in both directions at the same time, very much like a directional blur or horizontal or vertical blur. The new version of Glimmer actually has a monodirectional blur, so you get a lot more detailed control. I have an overall rotation for all of these streaks, as well as an individual rotation angle here in each individual streak. So I can change the angle and I can change the length of both sides of this streak. Each of these can use one of three color maps. So I can assign any of these streaks to color map A, B, or C. This keeps things simple so we're not juggling color mapping for all six streaks. So we had to have highlights, midtones, and shadows. That's three colors times six. So you'd have 18 different colors to deal with. So having one of three color maps greatly simplifies the process. Those color maps are down here under color map A, B, and C. You can manually edit them there. Or if I click on this button, I can choose one of the presets included with Glimmer. There's a shimmer control. So if I turn this up, this adds a bit of fractal noise and adds a bit of shimmery streakiness to the glows. I'll turn back on streaks two and three so we can see what that looks like. And at any time I can browse the presets here. Here in Adobe Premiere, if I click on browse presets, it's going to take me to the universe dashboard and I can browse the presets there. In other host apps such as Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer, or Resolve, you'll have a modal dialog that'll pop up in the middle. So if I click one like Electric X, we can see that we've now loaded a more blue preset in here. And from here, we can fine tune it. We can perhaps lower the boost light. We can adjust the threshold softness and maybe even lower the streak length to make it a little bit more of a subtle effect. We have an overall mask control. If I check this, we'll be able to apply a mask that isolates the glimmer effect to the masked area. I'll click on the show masked area to show exactly what's going on here. So I have essentially start and end points for a mask. So let's say I want to just isolate this kind of upper area with this drum and this bright object in the background. The mask radius right here will lower the size of the mask. And if I uncheck show masked area, we'll see that we are now limiting the glow to that masked area. Glimmer opacity is the overall glimmer opacity in the source. We'll pull the opacity down for the source image. And that, in short, is Glimmer. Pretty simple, easy to use glow plugin from Red Giant Universe. My name is Harry Frank. Thank you so much for watching.